Good afternoon everybody. Welcome to the channel. So I've been talking about a top secret project for a little while now and I didn't want to keep it a secret from you guys. I told you I'd be up front and tell you what's going on but stuff like this I didn't want to jinx and I'm a little superstitious on this certain type of a thing and with other people involved you're putting in offers you're waiting for other stuff to get accepted and uh, I just would rather wait and not jinx myself and tell you I got it when I actually didn't have to rebuttal myself later but we finally got it signed off on it two days ago three days ago now and so I can finally show it to you guys but I want to first off by saying this did not come easy a lot of pieces fell right into place for this to happen Got a lot of good people on the way and just a big teamwork effort in order to make this stuff happen so very grateful very thankful but let's go ahead and finally show you guys if the thumbnail didn't give it away well we got a shop What do you guys think? I am so freaking stoked on this and I'm going to give you some simple reasons why. First off, the shop is 40 by 40. So it's a 1600 square foot shop with a 14 foot door on it. So that thing, the logging truck can fit in there. That thing's about 13.6 or something like that. So the logging truck will fit in there. That was like the hardest thing really with uh, a shop anywhere around here having that big door. Another thing is it sits on eight acres of pretty usable land and there happens to be a, a house up on top of the hill that's it's kind of a big house it's like it's like 3,000 square foot but we're gonna <laughs> we're not gonna talk about the house today because this is actually house aside this is why we bought this property the fact that it already had a shop on it not just with YouTube but with a business in general we've always been fighting for you know trying to stay dry working on stuff we got my little or dad's cement slab with the carport on it that I've expanded but this is gonna be you know like vacation working on stuff for us the floor plans pretty <laughs> wide open except for that is an office right there and a storage room up top now there is quite a few things I didn't expect to actually get with the property but I didn't say anything I didn't ask him to clean out this bolt bins and get rid of it all this stuff came with it knickknacks and if you guys are in the same field I'm in you know, owner operator, you work on your own equipment. You know, if you're short a bolt, you gotta run to town sometimes, or, I mean, this one's already come equipped with a pretty good, you know, inventory of bolts. Workbench over here. Shelving units all over the place. We got a cupboard over there filled with, you know, brake cleaner and oils and spray paint and good stuff like that. But what I wanna show you, <laughs> that really surprised me of all things to leave behind is the stuff that they left up here in this upper storage room now this here is like the brand new stuff from what I can tell uh, comes with stock with a haunted light there's all kinds of goodies in this room though that I definitely would have taken shall I moved out of this place a little simple stuff like that that's not a big deal you run to town but dang I could have used one of these a couple months ago in the 08 Next thing over here, Arthur from 10X Transport. We were talking about these in the uh, what's it called? the Diamond C video. When you're running dualies on your trailer or your truck, that inside dual is always hard to get an air nozzle on it. And this is a little valve stem extender. And then you clamp it right out there on your outer dual. So it's easy access so you don't have to mess around, fool around trying to get on that inner dual to air and check the tire pressure. Well, it came with a whole bag of those things. <laughs> Amongst other things, tow mirrors up there and such. But this, these are like the ones I step, set aside. Fresh radiator for grandma's truck, because it's gonna need a fresh one or really severely clean the old one. But then I noticed this one. Look at this here. We got a freaking fuel pump, baller. I thought these were fast, but they're diesel performance product. This is for a second gen Dodge right here. I'm going to just call it a fast. A fast fuel pump or DPP rather. Same thing as this, but it's got filters. So this thing is brand new and that thing is going to go straight on to grandma's truck once it's ready to rock and roll. I'll get the light so you can see what's going on. Look at that. That little things like that though. That's like seven, eight hundred bucks they just left right there. I don't know. 
I would surely grab that stuff if I was the last owner and was moving out. But this place has excellent access for gooseneck turnaround parking. It's got tons of parking areas and the road, a highway-ish kind of thing is right there. So we have a driveway going straight up the hill or we have this one coming in here. I need to get new gates and I need to get a new fence. Well, there's not even a fence there. I need a blinder fence because uh, just pulling into the drive here and looking up at uh, the cars going by, this place has been sitting empty for a while. So anybody driving by sees a car down here, especially, you know, that rig is gonna stand out. So everybody's just looking down in there. So it's a pretty good invasion of privacy. And uh, I just need to get a blinder fence. That's on the first list, along with new gate, <coughs> along with new gates up there. So I'm gonna give you guys a little, a little tour. I mean, just little areas like this. If you're accustomed to having a bunch of room, you wouldn't even care about a spot like that. But I could totally park a trailer or something on the side out of the way, out of sight, out of mind. We got Boone. I'll go ahead and show you guys what I what I brought down here. I fired up the 04 this morning, drove it to Dad's house, and grabbed gooseneck. I just figured out the truck's already warmed up. It can haul this big old load. Brought the blue thing. I'm gonna leave the side by here so I can you know get around the property here a little bit quicker because it takes a little bit of time walking back and forth got a brand new refurbished propane tank for a heck of a deal and then i need to cut some goat trails through the thick grass with the mower so i just stole my uncles so it took longer to tie it down than it did to come up with the idea for bringing that but i just yoked a yui with the gooseneck right here no problemo uh let's see like i said it's eight acres it's not too huge but i mean coming off of like the three we've been at it's definitely bigger two and a half uh, property goes out there uh, I don't know, 800 feet and we have a pond it's seasonal and it was full when we first looked at this place and there was no grass here but since we first looked at it the grass grew and died and grew back again because for some reason we got some random rain whole crap ton of these big old cement blocks and you guys remember that video I did a while back look at that truck I just feel like more of a badass driving that truck with the six-speed manual transmission, single wheel towing a big old gooseneck-ish. feel more of a man driving that than the other two, but anyway, look at these. Remember how I bought two of these things a while back? <laughs> well, this house came with two more of them, so I now have four of these things. Looks like somebody freaking dented the crap out of this one with like an excavator or something. We'll walk up here to show you guys the other platform i have some plans for expanding this area over here just because uh we're gonna have extra dirt up there trying to clear some more parking around the house on the uphill side and we're gonna need a spot to put it so we might do this it's not anytime soon we just there's a lot of stuff going on have to we're gonna have to hire a tree guy to clean up all these trees around the house because it's just too thick for fire danger Nice little platform right here for, I mean, this is more than, it's like three quarters of an acre just of driveway right here. But this is where I'd like to extend someday if at all possible. Pond is right down there and there's a nice dam going right across, gains access to the other section of land. But, yeah it is it is just worked out slick and this one just goes right back to the main gate came here last night and uh i brought the couches and the stuff over from old house and tv and a couple other things stayed the night last night was our first night here uh, i got the house it worked out the house being big and nice and awesome and fresh uh ish uh everything worked out i didn't expect to get a big house i just wanted a house with some land that I could put a shop on. And this one was like, price range was here that I was aiming for, and this one, it's off the chart. But all things considered, I think we got a hell of a deal on this place. Uh, big investment. Uh, my girlfriend and I actually bought it together. So that's, uh, that's a huge step just in relationship standards. But like I was saying, I did not expect to have a big house. I just wanted a big shop. 
and for everything said and done it worked out awesome out here so we just gotta we gotta shuffle a lot of stuff out here just my stuff alone uh trucks and trailers that's it's like uh, that's a little job of its job on its own but as far as this goes i think all my goals have been met uh the new skid steer you know this there's a lot of stuff going on and it just boils down to we got to keep the ball rolling that's all there is to it and a lot of the teamwork that goes into play uh, is just work your butt off and set some goals and hopefully someday some you know the stuff works out and i think it's worked out pretty slick here we got we got a lot of work ahead just getting this place where i want it the fence the fence is big time but before i want to before i end this video i want to say one more thing been having the trouble with the 08 okay uh had some trouble with my tuner and you know if i'm just asking some questions about could this be the problem could that be the problem because i switched to efi live and i started having some issues vgt related if you guys are familiar with the channel <laughs> i've been fighting exhaust brakes and turbos on my 08 for a minute now and it all came back to something very simple that I didn't even realize I had to do. And that is, uh, you have to recalibrate a turbo, a VGT turbo. And we're hoping that's what the problem is. The truck runs good, no problems. Does a little bit of surging on the big end under good load. And the exhaust brake has a dead spot. The exhaust brake still works, but it's got a dead spot. So I called the shop in town, which I really don't like doing and asked him because he needed a special scan tool, code reader for that, and programmer. And he wanted minimum 300 bucks. I was like, ah, okay, well, let's get it knocked out, no big deal. And then he's like, yeah, this and that, and some other stuff, and then I told him that it's a new turbo. And he said, well, is the truck deleted? And I said, yeah. And he kind of, he's like, well, you're gonna have to sign some paperwork, and he got a little hesitant on some stuff, and I was just like, I don't like anybody touching my stuff especially trucks mechanic wise so i'm going to put that 300 3 400 whatever it might have came out to i'm going to put that and just buy the scan tool myself and then oh that'll be another video for content of recalibrating a vgt turbo which is something that i've talked to a lot of places and nobody really said to do that so i feel kind of goofy for not knowing something that simple but we're i mean we still don't know if that's the problem but it makes sense that it would be but anyway, I just thought I'd give you guys an update on that. Make sure the puppy's under the truck still. And yes, here's a top secret project, guys. If you want a video on the house, uh, comment below. I'm not going to make one anytime soon on that. But it's sweet. A lot of sweet stuff going on around here. But I do want to say thank you to all you guys. Uh, we did hit 10,000 subscribers. Uh, a couple thousand subscribers ago now so I apologize on the giveaway I have a decent video planned out for that and I started editing it the other day and my phone hiccuped and uh, I couldn't get some of the stuff off of it so 10 10k giveaway sub count thing will be coming very soon but as you can tell I've uh, taken the videos to every other day and just so much stuff going on but I'm still here guys we're gonna make some videos of all the action that's going to take forth at this place but thank you guys so much really truly all you guys that comment every day want to interact hit me up on instagram and all that stuff it truly does mean a lot uh the position that my channel is in now i didn't think it was going to hit this and i hope it keeps growing and climbing and i'm very grateful for all you guys and gals that tune in watch and hit the thumbs up button and especially if you guys are buying merchandise that helps everybody not just me helps girlfriend helps dad helps uh, my uncle who builds the hats i put it all back right into the team so thank you guys so much go ahead hit them buttons i really appreciate it like comment and subscribe <sighs> we got ourselves a shop we bought our shop we it's been bought okay we're not renting could not rent anyway we'll see you guys on the next one uh Let's see, something to comment for you guys. What do you guys want to comment about? Oh, here's one. <sighs> okay. What color should the shop be painted? Comment below what color you think that should be painted because it's mm, not very tasteful. I want it to 
be killer. But anyway, we'll see you guys on the next one. See you later, Boone. Anyway, here gets it. See you.